So let's show you how to sync data out of Boostbase, but in the situation where we don't have a pre-made template for your app. So in that case, you will need to use our general template, which you know, is trying to make it as easy as possible for you, but it's still a more complex guide on how to accomplish data synchronization out of Boostbase to any kind of app. So open a desired module that you want to synchronize data from and click on the share view. So in the share view, you can now add new data share and select your app. So I'll actually be using my Google contacts account where I have just four contacts and I want to take all contacts from Boostspace and build them or create them here. So I'll select Google contacts choose this application and you can see we already have a fully featured pre mapped template for Google contacts. So you can use that and it will be very simple to set up the two way sync. But uh, for this particular uh, demonstration, I want to choose the not mapped template, the general template, and I want to show you how to work with that. So you can click on next and it will create an API access token for Google contacts with number 152. So we will need to select this one to secure our communication between you know, Boostspace and the integrated part of our platform. So now you have clicked next, start the guided setup and inside here, I need to select 152. So that one that was created for us. Click continue, select where to start from. So I just want to sync all my contacts. Don't you know, don't start just with contacts from now on. So all of them, uh, but you know, select whatever you uh, will need, whatever fits your purpose. And uh, we can check whether we have here a correct connection. We do have a correct connection here, so we can just proceed to the next step. So now the template was created, but you can see we have Google Sheets modules here as a placeholder. And that's what we don't want. So what we want is we need to swamp these for the Google contacts. So I click add new module and put Google contacts here. Well, I need to write it correctly. And now I need to select get a contact. What is required for me to do? I need to drag it and put it here in between the Google Sheets and the router. But in case you guys put it more, more closer towards the router or somewhere else, you can just right click on this, unlink this and really drag it here. So I'm dragging this in between the Google Sheets and the router. So uh, now I need to make sure I select a correct connection. So I already have the connection ready and uh, I can then uh, map the uh, contact ID. So I need to select this remote ID from this green iterator. So I need to select this one here and click OK. I can now delete the placeholder model from Google Sheets. So delete it. It's always important to first drag the module in and then delete the Google Sheets placeholder because this way you will keep all the settings that we have set for you. So now I need to create a corresponding uh, node for updating the Google contacts. So update a contact. I can drag it behind the Google Sheets. I need to check that I have my correct connection set up and now the data fields are loading. So while we are at this, we need to work on the mapping. So I can select the contact ID. So the contact ID actually needs to be contact ID from this particular you know, Google contacts account, but all other fields like first name, family name and everything, they need to come from Boostspace. So you can identify that because they are, you know, dark gray, because actually what I'm going to be doing is saving data from Boostspace in this Google contacts. So let's find the first name here. So you can see contact first name, just click on it for mapping family name. So again, I can also use the, use the search here so I can just say, family name, it doesn't say family, so we have it uh, under surname here. I just click on it. Don't forget to delete the filter here and you can just proceed on mapping. Also, you can open the advanced mapping so that it will show you more fields and more options for mapping. But what I've just uh, created here is just a basic mapping of three, four fields. You can, you know, proceed to make this really, really great. Um, I'll also add an email here. So just add an email. You can see it's 
you know, bold, which means it's required. I click here and again, select an email. So what could help me is again, search here, email, and my primary email that is saved in Boostspace will be actually mapped onto this field. So this particular integration will update you know, those three fields, but it's you know best to update all the fields that are corresponding. Now we can delete the Google Sheets module, keep all the changes here and uh, go next. This is the last Google Sheets placeholder module that we need to remove and change for our swamp for the Google Contacts. So here I need to actually find the one to create a contact and connect it to the correct position. So now it's connected in between everything. I can open this and I will need to make sure that I've selected a correct connection. And once all the fields are loaded, I can start mapping. It's important to say that when you want to map your custom fields from Boostspace, it's also important to first click on run this module only, because what will happen is it will load a sample of data from Boostspace, including you know all the custom fields and all the data, and these will then appear, uh, and we can work with it, they will appear in the mapping panel. So I can just continue on mapping. I just want to make sure uh, to, to explain you that. Select the correct uh, connection and proceed with mapping. So first name here, family name, and, and an email, let's say. I can proceed to map more fields, but for the purpose of this demonstration, it will be sufficient. So now I can click OK. I can remove the Google Sheets module. So now I can click on the magic one button to make everything, you know, aligned and, uh, you know, nicely organized. And I can proceed with my scenario. Now we need to work on filters. So you can see we have filter here and it still says Google Sheets. So we actually need to call this Google Contacts. And in case you guys will try to synchronize to more than one Google Contacts accounts, it's also a good idea to just put a name or ID of your account here, because this actually will try to save uh, you know, the remote ID inside Blue Space, it will remember that, you know, under this particular Google account, it has, you know, this particular contact has this ID and Blue Space will secure a two-way synchronization without any duplicates and without anything. So if you want to do more than one, you know, account of the same app, just uh, give it a unique name here and make sure you keep this name uh, in all the following scenarios. So Google Contacts 1, I have it here. I need to do that a few more times. So I do it here. I do the same here. And I also need to change this setup in the last module inside Boost Space. So uh, this one, let me load the fields. And all the way down here, I need to change the ID for the ID of the contact. And I need to change the name of the app. So now I have updated uh, these few filters and I can proceed on those two more. So the filter, whether the contact exists, will need to check the contact ID again, save this. And in the last filter, I need to identify which data fields I will be checking for changes. So this one will work and update the changes in case that this field, so the field family name in Google account is not equal to the contact surname in Boost Space. So if there's any change, it will, you know, update the contact inside, inside the Google contacts account. I can add more rules so I could be watching also a first name. So it's a given name here. If it does not equal, if it's different, so it has to be this one. If it doesn't equal, then I will make the changes. So I need to search for surname or first name here actually. So I could add more of these and um, this way we can check for changes. So now I have my filters set up and I have my mapping set up. So now I can actually set up the scheduling, turn the scenario on and uh, run it once. So I can just do run once it will then start loading data from Boostspace and start creating or updating my contacts in my 
Google Contacts account. So you can see it's going step by step and in my Google Contacts, a new data will slowly start to appear. So this way we have set up a custom scenario and uh, this way you can connect any third party tool to load data from Boospace data synchronization platform. Thank you so much.